That's right, the title is not clickbait. If you are watching this video right now, I have officially left Japan. Oh, I see. That would explain why Hardlife hasn't been posting a lot of videos recently. I noticed that he has only been posting like once a month. He has definitely run out of content. Yeah, you're actually right. That means this is gonna be a dead channel now. Exactly, I mean, look at his background. He doesn't even have any of his plushies anymore. I was gonna stick around, but without those plushies, I'm definitely moving on. Whoa, just hold on there a minute. If any of you think this is going to be the end of the channel's bread and butter of giving accurate and timely Japan updates, along with showing you all the new things you can do in Tokyo and Japan, you couldn't be any more wrong. In fact, it's the exact opposite. I'll be posting more Japan content than I ever have been. On top of that, these new videos will not only be the same, if not better level of quality than my previous works, but they will continue to cover accurate and up-to-date Japan-related news and showcase brand new restaurants and shops to visit for when you plan your upcoming Japan adventure. Not only that, but I have some even better news regarding the channel, so stick around to the end to see about that good news. Hmm. Okay, but how is that even possible? Yeah, that's right, he's not even in Japan anymore. Well, just hold on and you'll get all the answers you need. I'm going to cover all of that, like where I've been, why I left Japan, and how I plan to keep up on all Japan content and continue to show the hottest and newest places to check out in Tokyo. So let's not delay any longer and get straight into these important details. Now to start off, I'll go over where exactly I've been and why I've been posting a lot less in the past few months. In case you didn't see my post earlier in the year, back in March, I proposed to this beautiful woman that you have been seeing in all my videos. And to provide an update from that post in March, we have gotten officially married in between then and now, which is an absolutely amazing feeling. And it is safe to say that this is one of the best decisions I could have ever made in my entire life. But as I have come to find out, and as an especially important note for any of you that are thinking about moving to Japan, getting married in a foreign country takes a lot of paperwork. And I mean a lot. Especially if it's between two people that are not even native to the country. And not only does it take a lot of paperwork, it also takes a lot of patience. So between having to get all of our documents in order and just taking plenty of time for ourselves to go on a honeymoon to Australia and New Zealand to celebrate our new marriage, I've been fairly busy and haven't had much of a chance to post as much as I used to. And on top of that, I've been busy settling in after our major move out of Japan. As you can see by the lack of iconic plushies in the background. And any of you that have done a major move, you already know how much work that takes. Not even to mention moving between entirely different countries. So between all of these factors, I just really haven't had a lot of time to get a video together. But now that I'm finally settling in, you should expect to see much more content in the very near future. And all of this content will give you all the info you will need to plan your upcoming trip to Japan. All right, so so now that you know where I've been, it's time to cover the future of this channel and what plans I have going forward. So for anyone that is thinking how I'm going to keep up with new and fresh content in Japan if I'm all the way back on the other side of the world, well, I'm about to answer just that. And to help answer this question, I'm going to explain a little bit of my line of work and how I planned around it. So if you haven't watched my 10,000 subscriber video, I go into a little bit of detail that I'm in the military. And being in the military, it is very common to change locations every few years. And luckily, I decided to make my channel at the beginning of my last job, so it gave me plenty of time to grow the channel to what it is today. Which, again, is because of you and your support, so I really appreciate it. Thank you. But, as I mentioned earlier, with this line of work, I knew I was going to be changing locations again in a few years. So before this channel even really started taking off, I already had a plan in mind of how I was going to continue it after I would be moving, which I knew would be coming in a few years. With this inevitability of leaving Japan in mind, I have recorded hundreds of hours of hidden and popular spots in Japan that I haven't even released to the public yet. So I can create dozens of fresh and new videos for you to watch for a long time to come. Not only that, but I have also recruited the help of one of my close Japanese friends to explore and film some of the new spots that will inevitably pop up around Tokyo. In fact, he will likely give a more in-depth and thorough review of these hidden spots because he is a Tokyo expert himself and, of course, a native of Japan. So with all of this in mind, I think it's safe to say that you're going to continue to get all of the Japan content you will ever need 
from me. And as if all of this news wasn't good enough, I have an even better update to share with you that I had mentioned at the beginning. It just so happens that the next job they assigned me is going to be back in the same spot in Tokyo, so I will be right back in the mix in no time at all. So all of these plans are just for the next few months until I make my inevitable return to Japan and give you on the ground updates from yours truly once again. And of course the iconic background will make its return soon enough. So now that you have all of this information, you can rest easy knowing that this channel is not only not going to go away, but it will only continue to get better and better from here. And again, none of this would be possible without your invaluable support. So I really do appreciate you for all of you that have been watching throughout the years. And I look forward to seeing where the future takes all of us. As for when the next actual Japan content video will be getting released, don't you worry, as it is going to be getting released by next week. So with that in mind, make sure you keep subscribing to the channel and keep those notification tabs on so you don't miss the newest and greatest things to do in Tokyo. Like this video if you found it useful. Subscribe for more Japan related content and check out my affiliate links in the description below for when you plan your next trip to Japan. All right, well, that's gonna do it. And until next time, which will be very soon, I'll see you then.